Lesson 7-5, Dividing Fractions. And in this lesson, you learn to divide fractions. And when are you ever going to use this? Knowing how to divide fractions can help you decide how much food to order for a party. And the word that we need to uh, uh, memorize the definition of is the word reciprocal. Okay, so Dan ordered five large pepperoni pizzas for his birthday party. There will be 16 guests at the party. He estimates that each guest will be eat about one-fourth of the pizza. Did Dan order enough pizza? So you need to find the number of one-fourth servings that are in five pizzas. So basically what it's saying, if you want to find the number of one-fourth servings in five pizzas, you're simply saying to model five divided by one-fourth. Okay? So five divided by one-fourth looks something like this. You have five pizzas and you divide them into fourths. Okay, something like this. Five pizzas, divide them into fourths. Okay, and if you notice, how many fourths are there in those five pizzas? There are 20 fourths in those five pizzas. Okay, so the dashed okay, line shows that the, each pizza contains four one-fourth pizza servings. Five pizzas contains five times four or 20 servings of pizza. That is 5 divided by 1 fourth equals 20. So Dan will have enough pizza for his party. Okay, so what do we notice here? That 5 divided by 1 fourth is 20, which is the same as 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Okay, so we will now look at the relationship between 1 fourth and 4. Okay, so... When you talk about the relationship between 1 fourth and 4, the numbers 1 fourth and 4 have a special relationship. Their product is 1. If I multiply 1 fourth times 4, the product will be equal to 1. Okay? So 1 fourth times 4 is equal to 1, and which brings us to the definition of a reciprocal. Any two numbers whose product is 1 are called reciprocals. So again, any two numbers whose product is 1 are called reciprocals. Good examples of reciprocals would probably be, let's say, two-thirds. What will you multiply two-thirds to get to one? That would be three over two, okay? Because that would be six over six or one, okay? Another good example would be the reciprocal of three-fourths. The reciprocal of three-fourths would be four over three, Okay, because the product would be 1. Okay, now the example would be 5. The reciprocal of 5 would be 1 fifth. Because if I multiply 5 times 1 fifth, that would be equal to 1. Okay, so when you talk about reciprocals, their product will always be equal to 1. Okay, and let's look at examples to see how this works. So you want to find the reciprocal of each number. What well, would you multiply 6? To get to 1 and that would be 1 6 so 6 times 1 6 is equal to 1 the reciprocal of 6 is 1 6 3 8 there's uh, since 3 8 times 8 over 3 is equal to 1 the reciprocal of 3 8 is 8 over 3 and you can use reciprocals to divide fractions and this is where our rule comes in dividing fractions divide to divide a fraction you need to multiply it by its reciprocal okay Let's take a look at example number 3 and see how this works. In example number 3, it's saying 5 over 8 divided by 3 fourths. Okay? And uh, let's look at the study hint right here. The expression 5 over 8 divided by 3 over 4 is read as 5 eighths divided by 3 fourths. Okay? Which we just said. So in order to divide these two fractions, we need to multiply 5 eighths by the reciprocal of 3 fourths. Now remember this though. Okay, when you're dividing fractions, you never touch okay, the dividend. The dividend is always the first number. Okay? You always get the reciprocal of your divisor okay? and multiply it with its dividend. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths would be 4, five, uh, four over 3. So 5 eighths divided by 3 fourths would be the same as 5 eighths times 4 over 3. Okay? And then we simply get the LGCF of... 8 and 4, which is 2, sorry, which is 4, 
and then divide uh, 8 and 4 by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then we simply multiply uh, the numerators and the denominators, we end up with 5 over 6. Okay, so 5 eighths divided by 3 fourths is 5 over 6. Now recall that division is related to multiplication. Sometimes it is helpful to write multiplication sentence first and then write the related division sentence afterwards. Okay? Now let's look at this example and see how that works. Mr. Tadashi had three-fourths of a pan of lasagna left for dinner. He decided to divide the remaining lasagna into six equal pieces for his family. What part of the pan of lasagna will each person get? So first things first, this, since this is a word problem, we look at the explore. You know that there are no, uh, number of pieces is. You know the number of pieces, six, and the total amount of lasagna remaining, which is three-fourths of a pan. Okay? So what we want to do is, okay, we want to divide three-fourths, okay, of the pan, okay, into six parts. So you have, okay, you know what happened here. We'll get rid of this one. Delete that one. There you go. Okay. So you'll find out what these arrows mean. Okay. You have six, which is the number of pieces of uh, number of pieces. Okay. And then we need to multiply it with the slice of each, the size of each piece. Okay. Which should be equal to Okay, three fourths the product or the total. Okay, and then if you notice when we're done with that, it is simply the same as three fourths the product of the total divided by six. Okay, will be equal to the size of each piece. So we simply, okay, uh, basically uh, restated this equation six times. Uh, the question mark is equal to 3 fourths can be rewritten as 3 fourths divided by 6 is equal to uh, uh, the question mark. Okay, In simple terms, let me give you an example. If I have 6 times, now let's not use 6, Okay, let's use 2 times 3 is equal to 6. It is the same as saying 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And that's exactly what we just did there. Okay? So knowing how to convert our word problem, okay, into a division problem helps a lot. So we now have a division of a fraction and a whole number. So again, when we're dividing, okay, we need to multiply by its reciprocal. So we copy 3 fourths divided by 6, and we get the reciprocal of 6, which is 1 over 6. Multiply the reciprocal of 6, okay? And then we end up with 3 fourths times 1 over 6. The GCF of 3 and 6 would be 3, okay? And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, okay? We end up with 1 fourth times 1 half, and we simply multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. We end up with a product of... 1 eighth. So each person, in this case, will get 1 eighth of the whole pan of lasagna. Okay. So if we want to check if our answer makes sense or not, okay, the number of pieces of lasagna times the size of each piece should equal 3 fourths. A diagram would be very helpful for this one. And this is where we are. Okay. So 6 times 1 eighth is equal to 3 fourths and if you multiply 6 times 1 eighth that will give you 6 eighths equals 3 fourths and if you simplify 3 fourths in uh, further okay you know that they're the same sorry 6 eighths further that will be the same as 3 fourths so that there are 8 parts and 6 there are 8 parts and 6 are shaded so 6 eighths or 3 fourths of the lasagna was left okay and let's go to the last example. We want to solve the equation. 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths is equal to m. Okay, first we copy the problem. 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths is equal to m. 
And then, no, uh, uh, let's remember what we learned. We're not touching our dividend, okay? We're only getting the reciprocal of our divisor and multiplying it with our dividend. So now we have 3 fourths times 5 over 2, which is the reciprocal of 2 fifths, okay? And then we, we cannot find any GCF between 3 and 2 and 5 and 4. So we simply multiply the numerators and denominators, which will be, give us 15 over 8, okay? We can convert this into a mixed number, which is 1 and 7 eighths. The solution would be 1 and 7 eighths, okay? And the secret word for this lesson would be pepperoni. Pepperoni is our secret word. And that's our lesson for today. Thank you for watching.